All right, guys, my package is here. All right, come check this out. What a beautiful day in Beijing to receive the ultimate package. I've been waiting forever for this. There she is, boys. There she is. Ladies and gentlemen, behold. Now, judging from the shape of this thing, I think it's pretty obvious what we have underneath. Yeah, that's right, it's a washing machine. All jokes aside, I am happy to introduce to you to the newest member of our family, the Neo Geo MVS U429. Enough small talk, let's unbox it. Oh my god, look at this thing. It's... It's in perfect condition. I mean, look at it. It's immaculate. I just... I want to caress it. I want to, I want to sniff it. I want to taste it. Uh, so, this is the second box that came with it. It's not as big, clearly, but let's crack her open. Here we guys, we have it. This are, is the slots. This actually machine comes with four slots, but they're shipping the rest in a few days. And, what's this? A bag of tokens. These are the cables for the board with four slots. Since we don't have that yet, I'll keep this on the side for now. Neo Geo MVS U4 29. MVS stands for Multi Video System. U4 was a model, and 29 represents the screen size, which was 29 inches. It was designed and manufactured by SNK Corporation. It was the first line of systems in Neo Geo's complete line, even predating the AES, which was an at home game console. Originally released in Japan in July 1990, this became an instant classic and a hit. And it was a game changer. Why? Because it was the first arcade system to offer interchangeable cartridges. Depending on the model, the MVS can have up to six cartridge slots. This proved to be very cost effective for arcade operators because arcade cabinets were extremely expensive. And it was space effective because in arcades, they usually have a very limited floor space. And the compact size of this was a perfect fit. The MVS was truly one of a kind. It provided features that no one else was doing at the time. It honestly revolutionized the arcade industry. Now, let's take a closer look. Okay, so at a closer glance, on top, we have the marquees. There's four marquee slots here, and with this key, you can change them out. Unfortunately, my cabinet didn't ship with any display marquees, so if you wanna see a future video of me making my own, let me know in the comments down below. Now moving down, we have the screen, the beautiful wide 29 inch screen. I mean, just look at that guys. It's bigger than my TV in my room. Moving down here, look at the joystick and the buttons. I have to say, it's in excellent condition. The colors are vibrant. Everything is just shiny and glossy like it's brand new. And right here, we have the coin slot. Next to it, it tells you exactly how much you have to pay to play. 100 yen, that is a steal. And moving along down, we have here, two headphone jacks. Now this is perfect for an environment like I'm in right now. It's an office environment. If you don't want to bother other people, plug it in in your own sanctuary. And in the middle, probably the most well-known thing about Neo Geo SNK is the memory card drive. So you're at home. You're playing your favorite game, Metal Slug 3. You're on the final level about to fight the boss. And then your buddy's called. They want to hit up the arcade. Not a problem. You simply save your game, unplug your memory card, and slide her in, and 
you can pick off exactly where you left off. Amazing. So I was really fortunate to acquire an MVS in such pristine condition. And one way that I could tell is, if you open the coin drawer here, and you take it all the way out, you'll see a meter. This meter shows you exactly how many coins has been through the machine in its lifetime. I mean, right now it reads 1,651. That is nothing. I mean, a hardcore gamer can reach that in literally two days. Oh. As you can tell, I got quite the collection of games. Let's play one of my favorite beat-em-ups of all time. Sengoku 2. Here we have the cartridge slot. It's very simple. Now you want to plug in the arrow pointing down towards the arrow on here. Put her back in. Now we have a variety of buttons here. Let me give you a quick breakdown. So the first button here is service. That's pretty much an infinite coin glitch. So when you don't have the coins itself, press that and you get all the lives you need. These three in the middle, to be honest, I'm not so sure about them. As of now, it's just don't press the red buttons, but I will do more research to find out what they do. And lastly, this is the power switch. Let's turn it on. Talk about nostalgia. That brings back so many good memories. No, no, something just hits differently when you're playing, sitting down in front of, of the actual arcade. See that? This is why this is one of the best beat-em-ups. You can switch characters. Oh, these guys. Let's go, baby. Oh, come on. No. Sit down. Oh, look at that super move. Sick. Oh, boss time. What is this guy? Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Eat that. Yeah, sit down. I've had this in my possession for only just a few hours, and already I can tell it's one of the best investments I have ever made in my gaming collection. So make sure you invest in me by subscribing to the channel. And as always, I'll see you next time.